Hello, how you doing, mate? So, you know, I know a lot of people have a problem uh, with uh, differential equations. So, now, we have a question. For example, this is a very good example. I'm Hamish, by the way. So, if you face I'm here, make sure you subscribe and try to circulate and share to a lot of people this video, okay? Thank you so much. Hello, how you doing, mate? So, I see a lot of people that have a problem uh, with a uh, differential equation. So, now, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to lead you how to solve different type of differential equations. So, this is a different type of format of differential equations. So, now, this is one example. So, this is variable uh, separation, or uh, you can just say uh, variable, uh, which can be separable, okay? Now, so how are you going to solve this? So, resolve is very, very easy, okay? Resolve is very, very easy. And then we got another example here. Now, I'm going to show you how to separate this, you know what I'm saying? That's another example, and then this one here now is not separable, uh, separate, uh, separating the variable. So I'll show you now how to do all of them, okay? You know what I'm saying? So now let's start to the first example, and now see, you see why this is uh, separating the variable, and why this is separating the variable, you know what I'm saying? But this one right here is not, okay? Okay, let's get started. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to separate the y with y. So for you to do this, you have to know integration. So you know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to uh, separate. So you see this is y and this with the y, it has to go together. So this is going to be d, y, okay? And this y here is like dy equal, this let me say 1 over, you see? It's like 1 over, 1 over. See, this is going to be y power e at the denominator. And then we have sign x. See, this dx, dx, dx is going to come here. And then this two ey is gonna come this high, you know, because it will multiply by ey, multiply by ey, look. Multiply by ey, and then multiply by ey. So you see this and this is cancel, okay? So you see we have already separate. So since we already separate, now we say if we have already separate, I mean this is gonna be ey, and then it's gonna be dy, and this side here is gonna be sine x, and then with dx. So how we go about that? That's easy because you're gonna differentiate throughout, okay? You're gonna differentiate throughout. So I'm gonna integrate, excuse me, I'm gonna integrate. This is very easy and great throughout. So we integrate here and then we integrate there. So when you differentiate EY, you're gonna get EY, and then when you integrate here, you're gonna get negative cos of x. And then we plus or we plus constant because you know this is not finite integral, so you're gonna get constant. And then after that, remember you want to isolate. What you want to isolate? We want to isolate y. So let's isolate the y. So for me to get y alone means I have to apply long throughout. Okay? So apply my long throughout. So this is gonna be, this is gonna give me long of e power y equal to long. Okay, so I'm gonna write my absolute here. And this is a negative cos x plus constant. So remember I want to get y alone. So this is y is gonna come at the back. And then we have ln of e, ln of e, ln of e, and then we have equal to ln negative cos x plus c. You know what I'm saying? So remember ln of e equal to 1. So this half here equal to 1. So it's going to be y times 1. y times 1 equal to y. So I have equal to ln negative cos x plus c. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you're looking for. So you see, how do you solve this question? I solve this question by separate the variable. Means right here, I have to separate y with y and x with x. Man, this is how you solve this question, man. And another thing, remember, you don't have any uh, initial value. If you have an initial value, then I could have substituted there and get the value of c. Because it's very, very important to get, you have to get the value of c. But we don't have any initial value, so I'll leave the way how it is, okay? Okay, cool. So now the question was here. Okay, so now we're going to see how we can separate this. This is very, very easy, man. You know what I'm saying? So now let's come here. So we say, okay, let's separate the variable. So separating the variable means x with the x and y with y. So we see this is x and this has to do with the x. So it's going to go there. So here we left with y. So look, if I'm going to apply this side of the x, here we left with x. Left with the x and then over. See this x is going to come here under x squared plus 1. Because we divide throughout, look, divide by x squared plus 1, divide by x squared plus 1. This and this cancel. So here on the left, we're going to be left with dy over dx. But here on the right is x y squared, and then multiply by y. You know what I'm saying? So I don't need that y, okay? So since I don't need that y, so I'm going to get rid of that y. So I'll say 
we have to separate the variable. So this y here is going to be dy, leave it alone, and if you divide by y here, look, over y, divide by y, this and this cancel. So we're left with 1 over y equal multiplied by x through outlook, multiplied by x, multiplied by dx. This and this cancel. So here we're going to be left with x, x squared plus 1, and then dx. You know what I'm saying? So what we're going to do here, we're going to have to integrate. Okay, let's try to integrate. Okay. What we're going to do here, we're going to integrate throughout. So integrating so we can get the value of x and y. So I'm going to integrate on the left, and then I'm going to integrate on the right. But when you integrate, 1 of y, we get ln of y. It's going to be ln of y. And then here, so here we have to do substitution. You know what I'm saying? So how are we going to do substitution on the right-hand side? So I'm going to let this equal to u, for example. So on the left is ln of y. But remember, it has to be absolute because whenever you uh, integrate, Anything in front of Lonnie has to I'll say, so I'm not going to do anything on the right. So on the right hand side, left you done. But on the right, let's say let, let's say u equal to x squared plus 1. Okay? x squared plus 1. So if it's x squared plus 1, if you differentiate this, it's going to give you du. And when you differentiate this, it's going to be dx, dx. But your intention, you want to get x dx. You know what I'm saying? So what is x dx? x dx, this x dx. If you divide by 2 and divide by 2 means x dx equal to du over 2. Oh, so this x dx is du over 2. Okay, so for that case, on the right hand side means it's going to be integral x dx du over 2. So it's like say du over 2. And then remember, all this stuff here is u with letter to letter. So it's like saying denominator is u. Okay, so on the left hand side is long of y absolute okay but then we're gonna say here I can take one over two behind so if you take one over two behind you say one over two and then we integrate look it's not say one over two integral of one over u to u but what is one over u to u that's a long okay that's a long of u so then we're gonna have a half and the long of u okay Lot of you, but uh, what is you? You we had it to write. Uh, well, you go to x squared plus one. X squared plus one. That's how we you x squared plus one. So I'm gonna replace that you with x squared plus one. But remember, this is absolute, okay? That's absolute right there. Okay. So we're gonna say uh, we're gonna replace that you with x squared plus one. Okay. So now this is gonna be same as say one over two in the lawn of x squared plus 1 and then you know what I'm saying we have to plus constant and then on the left here we have a ln of ln of y so it's not okay so now we have a ln of y whatever x squared plus 1 so what we're going to do here remember when you replace ln of y we can say log y under base e so this may say uh, this ln of y by ln of y this may say log of y under base e so I'm going to replace that you know we what we have right here so we will see okay so log of y base e so say here this is a log of y under this e equal to a half and then we have a half there ln of x squared plus one so say a half ln of x squared plus one plus one and then we plus by our c so then after that we almost finished so what we're going to do here we have to make a uh, uh, why uh, why the subject so what we're gonna do we're gonna apply uh, exponential rule exponential rule means I'm gonna push everything here so I'm gonna be left with y means I have to isolate y and there's gonna be y because if I push this e here everything is gonna go to the top like push this it's gonna go to the top look if somebody give let's say long let's say log x2 equal to 5 we have exponential rule where you push these two to the right See, and then this 5 is going to become as a power, and here you left with x, and then the logarithm disappears. So here we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to push this e, it's going to come here, and all this stuff here is going to be as a power. See this stuff here? It's going to act as a power. You know what I'm saying? Okay? So, so now, if this e come, log is going to disappear, y, and then a half, and then we say long, and then x squared plus 1 plus c. Okay? So all this stuff become easy. Power. So remember, uh, you can separate e power the first one, e power the second one. So this is say y 
e power a fraction but i can take this half back so it's like say long okay that's gonna be long long and then i'm gonna say x square plus one and then this half is gonna come here but remember you can say okay we got plus our c okay so you know from exponential rule you can separate those two things because you know from exponential rule if you have let's say e a plus b it is same as say e a times e b means you can separate them so now we're going to do the same thing here we say y equal to e okay but what is the half a half means square root okay so i'm going to say this is same as say square root of everything x square plus one okay uh long long and then we go see uh times e power c you know what i'm saying but e power c we can write as a okay so we can see all this stuff here let's call it a so let's call that a so we're going to see uh y equal so another thing this is if somebody give you let's say e so sorry, sorry. If somebody give let's say e e long p mathematical this equal to p okay so here what we're going to do we're going to say all this stuff okay all this stuff here equal to i'm not going to write e long of something i'll say square root of x square plus one and the power e power c we say equal to a let's say all this is equal to a so our final answer we finish now we say y equal to you can is the right a before this so you can leave the way how it is thanks a lot of it it is easy like that man thanks a lot of you know what i'm saying look man i believe in learning from how to do things if it's time make sure you subscribe and you know you can just go and do donation to our patreon page i have a patreon i have a gofundme you know what i'm saying i have all the means of donation because to make this project going you know any type of donation, the little that you think is too small for you, it could make a lot of change. And thanks a lot for all your time. You know, subscribe, don't forget, share this video, circulate to a lot of people. You know, because the meaning of this project, this program, is to help as many as we can. Okay, it's not only for one patient or two, because you might think it's not helpful for you. But for somebody next out there, it could be very, very helpful. So thanks a lot, man. And you know, any donation that you did to me, it means so much. I appreciate it, man. It means a lot. Go to our Patreon page. Go to our uh, GoFundMe because we need to have a, you know, a lot of things we need to put them together, like camera, you know, and a lot of equipment so that we can improve on, you know, a lot of angle, a lot of aspects of these projects, you know. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it and I love you. Peace and love. Bye. You know, this is one of my children of knowledge, you know, she wanted to introduce herself. What's your name? Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Camille. Yeah. I'm from Saint Schools. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to with Bantu. I'm trying to with Bantu. I'm trying to everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is my other son. His name, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew, yeah, he's grade 11, man. So his aim is to score distinction, right? So you promise, I want you to score distinction this time. And what's your name? Joshua. Joshua, how much you promise me to score this time? Distinction. <laughs> Distinction. Yeah, so turn about just everywhere, man. Turn about you. Everywhere. Turn uh -huh. about you everywhere. Everywhere. Turn uh -huh. about you. Exactly. Everywhere. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Helped a lot. Uh, first, and I redid first year for maths it was my own fault, but also I didn't know a lot of the work. And Hamish said lots of hard questions, and it's it's demotivating sometimes to do the harder stuff. You like just want to get done, but it's the hard stuff that makes you realize the easy stuff is easy.
Ayakuma matuta yosinge.